The little end bushes are away at the machine shop, so that's going to hold us up a little bit. But not to be deterred, we're going to fit the uh, car plugs. And what I'm going to do is an old trick. I'm going to try it again. Well, I've done it for many years. But for a sealer, I was suggested many years ago to use paint. Just regular paint. So I'm going to paint the edges in paint which will act as a lubricant when we put them in but will also act as a seal when it dries. That was a very old man who taught me that. So again we're going to get use a big spacer it, this happens to be a nut off a buoy. That's all it's going to get. That's all it's going to get. Just that deep. Just off flush. Because there's a little chamfer on the edge of these. And I'm just going to uh, just make that one just a little bit off there. One to be there. That's better. So that one should be alright. So I'm going to continue doing that, and I'll, I'll just do another one, just in case you missed that. So we're going to put a little bit of paint on, all around the edges. And like I said, we're not going to take the, uh, the block heater out, for the simple reason. There's a butterfly at the back, and it's held in by a single bolt, and when you open that butterfly out, when you pull the bolt in, it opens a butterfly and that goes outside. And unfortunately, you'll never pull it out without prying it all to bits, which is a bit of a shame. So, and you can see these are quite a quite a tight fit. I cleaned out all the oil passages in this block and I blew out all the bolt holes and cleaned them all up. And I've just actually taken out the, because I'm so, you know, sort of cautious about dirty oil and things like this, I've taken the jet out that goes in here, that goes onto the back of the vacuum pump, sprays some oil in. It's a little 10 millimeter bolt jet type thing. And I've washed it out and cleaned it and made sure it was all right. So I'm just going to nip that down. The next thing, we're going to fit the camshaft. So that involves taking off a little end plate off the front. And then we can build up the cam and the cam followers tonight, but we can't do much more. And there's the, there's the end plate. And those are the bolts that go into it. So we're going to get the cam and we're going to show you what to put onto the cam. Inspecting the camshaft is pretty straightforward. This is a nice and clean one. I've just got my little caliper that I've reversed. It's actually an internal one but I've reversed it. And just to be sure, I'll go around all the lobes and make sure that there's none sort of undersize. They all seem good. There's nothing untowards there. You know, you can, if you look very carefully, here, here, there, look carefully there, you can see where the follower was running, uh, the little roller inside the cam, in, inside the follower shot, sorry. <laughs> I'm doing this late at night now. <laughs> it's been a long day. But um, you can see where it's running, so, if there's any difference in the, the shiny bit to the side, if it's worn a groove, well then you'll need a new camshaft. But the camshafts are usually pretty darn good. So what we're going to do, we're going to lube it up before we put it in. And we're going to use, this is where it gets messy. We're going to use, I'm going to, well I've used this for a long time. This is Lucas Heavy Duty Oil Stabiliser. And uh, it's almost like, 
molasses. Oh, while well, I'm at it, look, this cam here, this one, this is for the uh, vacuum pump. You see, it's got two lobes on. On the 200 TDIs, uh, this would have been, oh, would it have been the fuel pump? Probably. But this has got the fuel pump moved across a little bit. The fuel pump's just on a sort of an eccentric. It's not on a cam, it's on an eccentric so it doesn't bang around so much. And what I'm going to do is just put some of this oil stabiliser on. And you can see it's really sort of sticky stuff. It's very good. And we've got to work that all into the cam. And you can see this will give this some extra protection whilst it's firing up. So this is how I'm going to do it so we don't get absolutely blathered in the damn stuff. We'll put some on in there and then we're going to put some inside these journals in here. Like that. Put that down out the way. And then just make sure that there's some lubricant all in those journals so they're not running flat. So now by guiding guide the cam in with your finger. Wait a minute, I'll put it in the first hole. There we go. So guide it through the first bush and you don't want the cams actually to bang on the side of the uh, the bearing. Now you'll see here what's happened is some of the lubricants being pushed off by the first bearing. So what we do very simply we give it a good old lubing up again as we go. And you push that one through and again making sure that now, now, now that one's got to go through there, through there and again this is kind of tricky because you can't get your finger in there. There she goes. Again, always lubricating those big bushes. You know. This does make a bit of a mess, but you can wow, it feels it feels gorgeous. Well, if you like that sort of thing. Now we're getting on to the stage. where it's almost in completely. This is where it sort of needs a bit of a lift. Camera's cutting out again. My memory card didn't come today. I thought it was going to come today. It might be tomorrow. So there we go. That's the camshaft in. And it's lovely. So, I'm going to put some more of this stuff on. We can actually squirt it off this block here. <laughs> Get rid of this stuff. Put it on this keeper plate and put this keeper plate in. Get the front. I'll show you that when we because I'm going to torque all these bolts down. I'll get my little torque wrench out and we'll fasten those up. So that's the camshaft in. It wasn't too bad, and it, it, you know, there's a, it feels nice. Those bearings are really nice, so we we don't really have to worry about that too much. So I'm going to just get this gunge off my hands, and then I'm going to clean up some uh, some tappets. We'll start to put those together. This is what is made up of a, a tappet for the Land Rover. It goes right back to the old uh, two and a quarters. Or the two litre, two and a quarter. No, not the two litre, no, two and a quarters. And it's a quite a good design, really, because this roller rides on the camshaft and pushes this little lifter up inside this guide tube. Now, it is critical the way these parts go together, and it probably will explain why there's a drilling in the front of here for an oil wear, so the oil comes up through the main manifold in here via the camshaft up into this chamber this manifold along the top and then eventually it gets squirted through this hole here now I've blown all these out and I've made sure that they're all okay nothing to worry about there 
But one thing is really important, and I've never quite worked it out, and nobody's ever told me why, because these look absolutely symmetrical. But if you look very closely, there's a little F in the corner. Now it's usually marked front or F. So that has to go, the, the F has to go to the front of the engine. It's really important. Now, a little word about the rollers. There are some Chinese ones out on the market and they are soft. And it's, I've seen quite a few of these rollers disintegrate. They go sort of like an octagonal and the cams bump up and down and pulls the cams to bits and then it chews this bit to bits and then your, your valves, you can't really adjust your valves properly. So be aware of that. Don't buy cheap, cheap ones. Buy the OEM ones or buy genuine Land Rover ones if you have to. Only if you have to, all right? Normally all these bits here we can salvage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the bolts back in the relevant holes again so we don't lose them. And then we're gonna turn the block up and we're gonna put them in the right places. So here we go, we're gonna put these uh, tappets in. So we're gonna give this a lubrication with some of this uh, Lucas product. And we're gonna make sure everything inside is lubed up really nice. You know, take your, take your time to put some uh, oil on these. Now, again, these will only go in one way because the bolt hole goes to the, towards me on the outside and it's really to stop it all lifting up and down. Somebody asked me why it's got a bolt hole in it and I said, well, it's because it's to stop it lifting. So, first of all, I'm going to drop a bit of oil in here. And I'll, yeah, I do like this stuff for engine rebuilding, even gearboxes to tell you the honest truth, because it's sticky, but it is good lubrication. So, we're going to drop this in, there we go. Now, actually we're going to go a little bit deeper, and there is a reason for that too. Put some oil so it's on the top of the cam, some oil on the roller. We're going to drop the cam in. We're going to drop the roller in, like that. And then, one thing to make sure, apart from the little left mark on the front, is make sure that the hole here and the hole here is free. There's no dirt and debris in there. So, you know, blow through it if you need to. But uh, just blow it with an airline and make sure it's free. some on there and most importantly on the bottom so where's the F? there's the F we're going to drop that in like that like that, like that and then we'll turn the cam so it's at the bottom and then we're going to lift up that lift lift up that sleeve you can see me lifting it up with my finger it's all nice and free and we're going to put this in this pin alright now I haven't, opened, I haven't opened the gasket set yet because I'm not sure if there is a washer on there. Now, some had and some hadn't. 